All right, today we got some uh, modular Ford cams in the grinder. Uh, hang loose, we'll get into it. So we had a customer who sent in a pair of, these are three valve, yep, three valve uh, modular Ford cams. And these are actually, I think they're comp, maybe not, I think they're comp cams. So we see this all the time. So what happens is people uh, are these reman shops or head rebuilding places. The cam, the, the, the cylinder head has no cam bearing. It just rides on aluminum. So the solution is, and when, when what happens is the, the, when it dies from lack of oil or whatever happens, and, and it galds the actual board that the cam rides in, it, it hurts the cam journal and it tears up the cylinder head at the same time. So what these reman places do is they'll grind the mains, just like we grind a, a crankshaft, they'll grind the mains on the cam down to 10 or 20 or 30, whatever it takes. And then because of the uh, bearing shell thickness, they bore the head out and put a bearing insert into the cylinder head. So what ends up happening is, you know, whoever, they buy some new cams and they get ready to put them in their car and then it won't fit. They put the cap on, the cam won't turn. And because the bearing is 10 or 20 under and the journal is standard. So what we do in that instance is and it's almost now, it's almost impossible to get the bearings. We used to could buy the bearings all the time, no problem. <clears throat> and now, apparently, all these rebuilders are just ordering direct and buying the bearings in bulk because, you know, I guess nobody else is really buying them. And so none of the distributors have these bearings in stock because the solution would be to just buy a standard bearing and put it in the head and put the cam in and go and not have to fool with the cam but you just you can't find the stuff and uh and i've I, i've run into this many many times so we got one of the cams set up we measured uh, the the customer luckily sent the cams that come out of the motor and i verified that they are 10 under and they are correct and so we got the first cam in the grinder set up and we got our in-process gauge set and uh, I'll, uh, I'll do one journal or so on camera and then I'll bring you back when we get both of them finished up. But uh, that way you can just see what we have to do here. And so these have one, two, three, four, five. So these, these are VVT as you can see up here uh this is where the vvt oiling happens and so we got five journals to grind and they're all really wide so we gotta sweep them i don't i don't like that as much but i don't have any wide rocks because generally we're grinding lobes or something we're not grinding mains and we do sometimes but but uh but it's it's not a problem but we'll get, we'll get going here. Like I say, I've already touched off on this one, measured it and got my gauge set. So, I mean, we ready to grind. And it's only about, I don't know, 60 or 80 thousandths of that journal that's wider than my stone. So I'm gonna sneak over and get that little bit. come back over centered because the bearings are not actually nearly as wide as the journal so it don't it don't even need to be all that but we just gonna get it anyway so the whole journal is the right width
Uh, so we got that one ground and you know, zero is the right dimension. So now we can just come to the next journal and then we grind, you know, till the needle gets to zero. And, and so we'll just continue that on till we finish up. And then when we get them both finished, we'll bring you back and show you the finished product. Well, I've done it again. Oh, uh, I got ahead of myself. I forgot to film an ending. So we got them all ground and polished and washed and boxed. And I taped them up and weighed them and forgot all about doing the ending of this video. So unfortunately you can't see them completely all finished. But again, if you need that done, we can do it. But I figured I'd show you why I had it all laid out. I'd show you uh, the bearing inserts. So this is what, and these are King uh, Dearborn used to make them, but I don't, I don't know if Dearborn makes them anymore or if Dearborn is making them for King, but I'm not sure because I know King uses Dearborn for their normal like push rod V8 cam bearings. <clears throat> so anyway, you know, obviously the housing would be bored to accommodate that difference. And then these inserts are just dropped in just like rod bearings. So that's how you repair. And I mean, if it's not real bad and you have a honing mandrel, you can just cut the caps, put the cap back on and line home the cam tunnel, just like you would the mains, you know, but, uh, but usually they're really bad and this is just the simplest solution. But anyway, so, uh, hopefully, that helped and like I say, if you have modular forward cams that need some attention, you know, we can grind the mains if you need that. All right, thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one.